and give you power over all of that. Hallelujah. Anybody that's lacking the Holy Spirit is lacking oxygen. Hallelujah. Look at your neighbor and say, if you lacking the Holy Ghost, you lacking your breath line. Because we walking around here faking and shaking some Holy Ghost. You can't fake no Holy Ghost with some with some broken down tongues. Lift your hands to the Lord. You better get the real thing. Somebody say glory to God. Shut up. Amen. And get the real Holy Spirit. Oh, it's, it's cute to you, but it's not cute to God. Amen. It's not cute to God. It's not cute to God when you're pretending and you don't really have it all together. Amen. In the Word of God, in the in the in the uh, Gospels, the four Gospels, He'll call you a hypocrite in a minute. Amen. I didn't come here to call nobody a hypocrite. I came to encourage you to get off the floor in the Spirit, Amen. rise up to the call of duty in your life. Your answer is not what they're telling you on, on TV, on internets, and I mean, I I never seen so many people believe everything the internet said. Yeah. If Google said it, you think it's gospel? <laughs> you need to believe the gospel, not the Google. Amen. Look at three people and say, believe the gospel, not the Google. I'm going to Google you. Just because you Google somebody don't mean that's who they are today. You might have Googled them and you found out that, that they went through some sort of some sort of a shameful thing. Here it is eight years later. My God, cut them some slack already. You still trying to hold their cast against them. Huh? Wave your hand to the Lord. Somebody say, there is therefore now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh but after the spirit. Walk after the spirit. Amen. The Bible said in Ezekiel 37 and 1, here it is. You think I don't have this here? The hand of the Lord was upon me, carried me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of a valley which is full of bones. And sometimes God is going to lead you somewhere and it's going to be some dry places. But what you don't need to do is blame everything on God when he didn't really do it. God didn't do everything some of the people have said he did. Oh, that's God. And then you turn around, something happened in your life. That's the devil. And then you're giving him too much credit. You don't even know who did what. Somebody said, maybe neither one of them did it. Maybe it just happened. <laughs> Lift your hands to the Lord. How many know sometimes things do just happen? Amen. Amen. We're going to be finished in less than a half an hour. So come on, lift your hands to the Lord. Caused me to pass by them round about and behold, they were very many in an open valley and they were very dry. When you get to a valley place in your life, those are the low places in your life. They are low places. Do you know that there's been uh, some crazy spirits running rapid trying to take people up out of here? Yeah. Amen. Look at your neighbor and say, don't do that. Yeah. Don't do it. Don't Come on. I don't mind telling the truth. We went through that, that moment not long ago with someone. Amen. Lift your hand and say, don't do that. Don't do that. Live. Don't die. Amen. Yeah. Nothing is that bad. Amen. Nothing. Nothing. God is a restorer of anything. Again, he fixes things. Look, look what he does. Not only does he fix it, he'll break it. He'll break it. He's called the breaker. He will break something asunder. He'll deliver you. He'll set you free. He'll set you high. Amen. He'll put you low. God can do anything that is necessary to be done in your life. Yeah, he can do it. Look at somebody and say, you don't have the final answer. Stop trying to finalize things when God says this is the beginning of your new beginning. You're trying to finalize what could be the very well beginning of something new in your life. The beginning of something fresh in your life. Amen. Don't try to finalize what he said. Let's start here. Let's redo this. Let's renew this. Let's revamp this. Let's restorate this. Yes. Amen. He's a, he's a God of restoration. He's a God of resurrection power. Amen. So when you get in the valley of deadness and dryness and you weigh down low. Amen. The devil will get some of you so low till you don't want to get out of your bed. Draw the curtains. Pull the curtains. Make it dark in here. I don't want to be bothered with nobody today. For the next three days, I will be shut in. <laughs> Lift your hands to the Lord.